Hello everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome back for 31 days of spooky journaling. You may wonder, Hilda, why the hell is your lighting so weird? Well, as if this glowing wasn't uh, a dead giveaway, we are painting with UV ink today. Not just UV ink, there's also another ink uh, for which you need to check back tomorrow because Shh, I'm not really supposed to talk about this guy yet, um, but I'm sneakily using him anyway. Um, but yeah, more about that one tomorrow. And um, for Maps Drawloween Club, I'm painting a ghost. Just a simple ghost, because I don't have loads of time. And here are all my brushes. I will not be using these guys today, they just live in the same brush book. But um, these are my watercolor brushes. They are all Da Vinci Cosmotop Spin ones. And then these are my old watercolor brushes, which I now use for ink. And then I have two acrylic brushes, which just live in there as well. But these are um, Del Rowney Aquafine ones. And this is the brush book they came in, which is also glowing a little bit. But yeah, um, they're really good brushes. Um, but sadly, they don't really live that long. So um, that's something to bear in mind. And um, they're also a little bit hard to get when you're in the EU. Um, so that's why I prefer to get the Cosmotop Spin ones, because I can just buy them from a shop in France. And as you can see, this glows a lot. And if I were to turn these blue lights off, because uh, the UV lights are blue, this might actually look like super whitish, very light blue, because it does on some paper. Like on the MD paper, it absolutely does. Yeah, I just want to paint a simple ghost and then do the background in the sneaky ink. There's not much exciting about this. Um, yeah, I've uh, laid down the line work, which you probably can't really see, but uh, I did it in... I keep on forgetting what it's called. Uni, it is definitely Uni, and it is... Uh, yeah, Uni Nanodia, and it's a purple one. It is erasable lead in color, which is really fun. I also have the pink and the um, the orange. Let's see if I can zoom you in even more. No, that's out. Yeah. Yeah, this is just a ghost wearing glasses and I will get like a super fine liner and draw some uh, spider web in the corner of those glasses. My friend Mitch actually owns glasses like that, and I am so jealous. I would totally wear spiderweb glasses. Would not be bothered at all. I look like a Halloween store exploded on me most days of the year anyway, so there's that. And it looks a bit streaky, but it's a ghost. It doesn't have to be nice and pristine. I'm gonna get some paper to put underneath so I don't make my desk glow for e forever and ever. That would suck. The thing is, when the lights go off, you should be able to just see the, the ghost's line work and nothing else. So there's that. And now this water will start glowing. The more ink gets in there, the more it'll glow. Just slightly disturbing. But there you go. I wonder how if this brush glows. No. So I at least got it clean because it's not glowing. <laughs> <laughs> there is that. But yeah, this is uh, super, super reactive. And so this is properly dry. I have my Jade Twisby Eco here. And as you can see, the Jade is also UV reactive. It does not glow in the dark, but this guy, the glow green, does glow in the dark, but it will also react to UV light. So that's fun. Is anybody going to get the glow purple Twisby? I am seriously tempted. 
I want to do some ghost lights, which will probably kind of vanish. Because it'll be really, really hard to paint in between, but I'll do my best. But yeah, I am I am getting the glow purple because I love Twisby Echo as much as I love Platinum. So uh, I, I am a Twisby stan. I have not had any issues with Twisby yet. I know other people have, but so far so good. So um, yeah. And the thing is, I think I want to give my ghost like a floating pumpkin. So also because now it shows really, really well how you can go over, but you will lose all of your glow. And this is a uh, well, the ink that's inside is Sailor King Mokuse. And I am going to give it proper lining and a jack o' lantern face and such. Oh, dang, I should have left the face open so it could have glowed. Missed opportunities. Oh, well, it'll just have to be a regular jack o' lantern. I'm kind of bummed about that now. <laughs> oh well, oh well, oh well. Should have thought about that a little bit faster. And yeah, um, so I am going to leave it like this to paint because I won't see these guys otherwise when I paint the background. So if I want to paint in between, I'm going to have to leave the light on and I will show it to you what it looks like with everything off. And here we are with color, yay color. So now I can at least properly see where I need to do some touch-ups. Where I like made an absolute hot mess. So that helps. Still maintain at some point, because I saw it on the noodle, noodlers, not noodles, noodlers Instagram. And it was somebody who had done this um this painting of Beetlejuice entirely in blue ghost. And so it was basically a white page till they they put UV light on it and then it completely lit up and it was <laughs> flipping amazing. I think I wanna get like a white Posca and clean out this clean up these lines because they're pretty abysmal. So I'm definitely gonna be fixing these. And as you can see this ink is a dual shader, well, a multi-shader. And the only thing I will say about it today is that this is not a sailor ink. But of course, those who recognize the tiny bottles probably have a really good guess. Yeah, that that is abysmal. I mean, it really ran into each other even though the ink was completely dry. So... That is just really, really bad. I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, what I'm probably going to do is get some white acrylic ink, fix it up with that and get some of my, um, my glow in the dark acrylic paint to go over it. So you will still have the light up effect. So I won't lose that at least. So um, yeah, first. All of this needs to properly dry. And then we can fix all the, the issues. Because this is Zuan paper. And I absolutely love Zuan to eternity and back. But the issue with Zuan is that with ink, it tends to start to be like very, very runny. It's not the greatest paper for ink. Um, so yeah, that, that is a, a problem. So yeah, but I will I will sort it out. I will fix it. And here we are, the finished spread. I uh, I will admit I finished it off camera because it was just too much faffing about. And um, yeah, it still uh, largely glows in the dark. Let's see if I can properly show you. So as you can see, here you go. And um, yeah, I put on a lot of uh, glow in the dark paint over it and uh, it is mostly fixed. So I'm calling it a win. 
Well, I, I like how it came out well enough, though. And um, I mean, it was an experience working with um, the uh, Blue Ghost as an actual painting ink. And I will probably, if I do paint the portrait with it, use a different kind of paper and uh, experiment with that a little more before I go in and do it properly, properly. But yeah, you know, so far it's always good to experiment and even though it's not <laughs> anything great or awesome, especially, I mean, I'm so glad I went with this and I gave it a go for today because I learned how to work with a new ink a little bit better. So that's great. It's always good to learn to work with new materials, but I shall quit waffling on and uh, close this video. So yeah, that was it for today. Paint to the ghost. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Have you been doing Inktober or any other this month challenge? Uh, or do you just enjoy following along challenges? Again, let me know in the comments down below which one you are following. Or just leave a comment full stop. If you do leave a comment, please be kind. Subscribe if you want to stick around for more shenanigans in motion. Hit that notification bell so YouTube hopefully actually tells you when I've uploaded a new video. Wouldn't that be grand? Um, there will be cats as soon as, as, soon as I stop talking. Whew. Words. <laughs> High time I end it here. So uh, yeah, that's it for today. Hopefully I will see you tomorrow for another day of uh, spooky journaling and inks and inks because I still have to tell you what that mystery ink of today was. Find out tomorrow. Bye!